Ladies and gentlemen, and everybody else, welcome back to Project Zomboid. I've already played this game on my channel, and today I want to try again. Let's see what I took after my first experience. Who knows, maybe now I can survive longer than a couple hours. This story is about Rosewood's amateur mechanic. Her name was Kylie Porter. I told that was a nickname. She wanted to be a rock and roll star and super liked Harry Potter. She was poor and lived in some old small house. But Kylie was a good person and never wanted to hurt someone. Because of it, the best weapon for zombie apocalypse in her house was her old guitar. Cause she never tried to rob someone, she couldn't come to another house sneakily and had to use the guitar. Luckily all these zombies weren't her friends before the apocalypse. At all she didn't know these people, because she was new in this town. Therefore the first kills made lower emotional damage to Kylie. When the girl finally found an open house, she triggered a horde and an alarm system. Now all zombies knew where she was. Without looting she had to run, and the guitar also was broken too. Now Kylie was alone, and nearly all zombies in the town were trying to hunt her. She was in panic, but still was trying to fight them to save her life. But soon Kylie understood, she can't kill them all. And then she ran into the forest. Luckily zombies can't walk fast through the trees and bushes. But Kylie still couldn't understand what to do now. She knew only one way how to survive in the forest. First thing you need to do is drink your own piss. And that was disgusting. Because of it, she came back to the town. The girl was tired and sad. Because of it, she grabbed an ice cream from someone's bridge and ate it all. In this house, Kylie found a new guitar. And then, until the night, she was reading a book about farming. That wasn't the best book, but better than nothing. At all she didn't know what to do and was in frustration. Only at the middle of the next day Kylie finally got out and went for better shelter. Soon this guitar was broken too. Kylie had to understand that guitars are good on scene, not in the fight. Somehow the girl won this fight and kept all of her blood inside. Moreover, she got a new jacket. Just look at this fashion queen. Soon she found a pen. That's gonna be better than guitars. Also nearby was an open car. Kylie didn't find the keys to start the engine, but she found a nice makeup. Now she was looking beautiful. For zombie apocalypse, of course. Until the night, Kylie was doing some exercises. She wanted to be a sport girl. Because of it, the next day she started from a bottle of milk. Milk. Luckily Kylie didn't have a lactose intolerance. She found out it was a risky way. Also Kylie thought because now is apocalypse, she can fully wake up when she wants, not at 7 o'clock when she needed to go to work. Because of it, all zombies were safe until 1 o'clock in the afternoon, when Kylie got tired of sleeping. In the next house, she found a beautiful shower and wanted to wash herself. Kylie didn't want to be dirty and stinky, even in the apocalypse. In this house, a girl found a gun case with deagle inside. This pistol was huge and super heavy, but for now she took it. This evening she was near some outer shop. Of course there were a lot of zombies, but Kelly was prepared and killed them all without problems. Inside the house was nothing interesting, but because there was evening, Kylie had to stay here. The girl didn't want to sleep in big rooms and took chair into the toilet. It was a small room with only one way in. Best place for rest. But before the night, she was making another exercise. For 40 minutes. That was a bad idea. If you don't understand why, just try to make this exercise without rest for 10-15 minutes. You won't get up the next day. And Kylie also also didn't want to go anywhere next morning. This day was the most interesting in her apocalyptic life. She was sitting on the toilet floor and reading books and magazines. 
Nevertheless, don't forget about morning pain on your trainings. He was a big building, and Kylie really wanted to get in, but because she broke her sleep mode, the girl was super tired and sleepy at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Also, here were a lot of zombies and Kylie was in circle. She couldn't fight normally, but she had to fight or sleep just on the street. Kylie was doing smart and taking zombies one by one. But when she was at the entrance and only a couple hits were between her and normal rest, she made a mistake and zombies beat her a couple times. In panic and agony she tried to escape, but that was an lucky day for Kylie. The first door was closed and zombies got delicious girl's flesh again. The second door opened, but in panic Kylie couldn't close it and zombies came in. She hid in some storage room and fixed the bleeding, but she couldn't sleep with bloody monsters inside and thought to try to kill them after a little rest. Sadly, but that was the stupidest idea of this day. Kylie died from heart rupture from overexertion. Rest in peace, as they say. And this is the end of Kylie's story. I know, that's not much, but I tried to shot more. My characters literally can't survive longer than two days. Kylie survived for four days just because she had to spend a day in the toilet. I really don't understand how to survive longer and make it interesting. Yes, I can find a lot of food and sit on the ground, but it isn't interesting. Interesting. I want action, I want to kill everyone in this world. But if you want to make something active, you have a really big chance to die. I think I need more time for practice. And you also can share your tips in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe, or you gonna be my next character here. And trust me, you don't want it. But for now, I'm tired of English. Всем пока!